So what I'm going to do, all right, this is Patio's video. We're going to put a D chord on and, and just so we can um, and go ahead and put your uh, fifth, your, your capo at your fifth fret, which for you will be your first dot. It's the first, first dot of my fingerboard too. Okay. Now notice it's not the first dot yep. on top, just on the fingerboard. Got it. All right. Same okay. with me. I've got I've got a dot there too. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So what we talked about is putting a D chord on and doing a Travis pick. And when we do this Travis pick, we want to make sure this thumb. This thumb and index finger don't run into each other. So what happens is instead of having this kind of a position, we're just going to kind of move our thumb in front. And it's going to be instead of like this, that which changes and stuff. There are some things, guys, you can finger pick with the bent thumb and stuff. But uh, it, also, if you ever decide to use a thumb pick, it's really going to help if you have a flatter thumb okay. and out right. front like this. And what we're going to do is we're going to go thumb on the fourth string down, and then index is index finger is going to be on the second string, and your middle finger is going to be on your first string and you count like this one two three four five six the opposite of how you think you think this would be the first string but this is the first and that's the six so we're going to go down with the thumb on the fourth up on the second and then we're going to go down with the thumb on the third and then up with the middle on the first string so it sounds like this i'll play it once You play it once, so you know you have the right note. I'll do it again. And then, once you get this going, it sounds like this. And then we can take our little finger off of this D chord. We still keep that there, but we take our little finger, put it down on the first string at the third fret. And then take it off again. Regular D chord. Now we're going to pick up our se our uh, second finger and we'll have an open first string. That gives us three different chords so it's not quite so boring to practice. Travis pick, you know, for long periods of time. Okay. Yeah, because even 10 minutes of one chord is just hard to do. So, you know, once you be able to get a little bit. All right. And then we talked about our left hand position. Um, that what they do in a Travis pick is something like but we, I'm not going to expect you to get that for next week but I'm just kind of showing it to you but I would, would like you to work on your where that stuff is on the left hand so here's your G chord with the pinky on the first string we want to change that pink, pinky Easy for me to say. Put it on the second string. <laughs> and we have that. And then that's going to be one of the notes we have there. And then we're going to take that little finger off. Put this index finger down here. All this stuff is on the second string. On the first fret. And then off. So. Now that same stuff on the second string. But we're going to change from a G chord here. With the E minor chord, which it looks like this. That's a regular E minor chord, and we're going to put this little finger down again. Second string, third fret. And then, same thing with the index finger on the first fret, second string. And then lift it up. So, if you work on those two things, okay. eventually we'll tie both of them.
like I said, if you could practice uh, three times 10 minutes a day, because this is not a heck of a lot to work on, so it can get kind of tedious. So if you can practice 10 minutes a day, you know, if you can do longer than that, fine. But I'd rather, if you're going to practice, if you have 30 minutes open, I'd rather have you practice three 10 minute periods. And then it almost it doesn't get in the way of anything either, because there's a lot of times where you got 10 minutes, you know. Think of all the times cigarette smokers smoke their cigarettes, you know. So we, we ought to be able to have, have time to do that. So, yeah, and then, and then it'll also, because you put it down, pick it up later, and do it again, and then put it down again, pick it up later. It, it, because of the amount that you're learning, the amount that you're working on, it'll be like three days worth of practice in one day. So, and it'll be the challenge of, oh yeah, oh yeah, remembering, you know, three times a day instead of trying to do it once a day, and then the next day you go, what was that again? Let me put the video on here, mm -hmm. you know. All right?